And what's crazy, this was round two today. I think there's a round three coming tomorrow. This is Little Rock, Arkansas. Look at the roadways here. It is incredible and yeah, not a lot of folks out there. That is definitely a good idea. Look at this off ramp here. It is not cleared. Let's take a look at what's happening. It is rain in Baton Rouge through Jackson, Mississippi. Then you get this rain snow mix through Monroe and Shreveport, Louisiana, and north of that millions are dealing with snow from Memphis, Nashville, St. Louis, up to Minneapolis, Omaha, Kansas City from the track of today's low that is going to continue moving into the northeast tomorrow. OK, well, it's gone, right? Except I think there's yet another area of low pressure that's going to track from Louisiana up into New York and Connecticut through the day on Thursday as well. So that's going to mean another round of very wet weather here for the southeast, a thin band of snow, but of course this dangerous band of a mix of sleet, rain and freezing rain. Now the temperatures are not as brutal, but clearly if you're without power and you're talking about temperatures 15 to say 40 degrees, that's cold enough. And obviously we haven't bottomed out because we're not in the middle of the overnight yet. Okay, local weather by contrast, just stunningly beautiful today. Cuesta Peak, our time lapse there looking very nice. Fog tracker isn't showing much at all. There's a ridge of high pressure. Winds are going to start pushing offshore tomorrow, likely even warmer than today with the setup. This is a look at 805 webcams, Avila Beach 61, winds 8 miles per hour, very mild humidity, 48%. And in Santa Barbara right now, looking stunning, 67, humidity just 16% due to the offshore winds. Highs today, mid 60s for most locations, though Morro Bay just 58 degrees. Santa Barbara 73, Goleta we had 73, Lompoc 63. And again, tomorrow will be warmer. Mid 50s and low 60s for much of the central coast, out in the interior valleys, low 50s already, California Valley and Cuyama, south coast, we're still hanging on to nearly 70 degrees. Yes, it is breezy and those winds, you can see this direction here starting to push offshore for the overnight. Now what's interesting, this little ridge of high pressure is going to keep us warm tomorrow. However, a minor setback on Friday, a little cold front is going to sweep through the Pacific Northwest. I don't think it rains here. The front's going to come through in the afternoon on Friday for some cloud cover. I doubt much happens though. I think Saturday will be a windy day. We're going to take a little setback on temperatures, but then Sunday through Monday, Tuesday next week, 70s and can't rule out 80. 70 for Santa Barbara, 64 Paso Robles, 69 Santa Maria, North Coast temperatures, 66 Morro Bay, 64 in Cambria. Now the interior valleys like we saw this morning, some areas of low cloud cover early, but we'll clear that to mostly sunny skies again. Low 60s for California Valley and Shandon. In the Santianez Valley, 68 degrees for Santianez and Solvang, 69 Orchid, 67 in Carpinteria. And there's your extended forecast again Thursday, Friday, fairly mild to set back on Saturday with windy conditions. But look at Monday, Santa Maria, 76, 75 Tuesday. Paso Robles could be in the mid 70s. San Luis Obispo could be in the mid 70s to start early next week. So by contrast to the rest of the country, pretty nice. Richard, back to you.